Rome from Sea Clown here on SBS Pop Asia's K Wave. Download the free Pop Asia app and tune in every Thursday from 7 pm. Each week I'll try to answer your questions, so tweet me at Rome underscore Sea Clown at SBS Pop Asia or post on the Pop Asia Facebook page. Yes,、yeah, so now guys, it's time for me to answer those questions from the fans and just、uh, give out shout outs. So let's start off with the first question, and the question is from Keane Karwana. Karwana. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I really am.、Um, I'm not very good with pronunciations, but、uh, this person says, Rome, if you weren't in the K pop industry, what would you be doing now? I get this question quite a lot, so、um, guys, I'll just leave that up to you. What do you think I would be doing? I was joking. <laughs> so what would I be doing now? I think honestly, I would have been doing something on YouTube because I was quite the the kid that was really interested in、um, YouTube, and、um, yeah, I I loved making videos. I think I'll be more into my dancing career if I wasn't doing this. So yeah, I, I'm not sure where I would have been. Maybe I would have been a chef, or maybe I would have been a pilot. I don't like planes, but I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, I'll just leave that up to you guys to judge.、Uh, so next question,、um, it's from Simply Mira. What is the concept for your upcoming July comeback? Oh, this is a very good question. And I think by now you guys could kind of hint on what my comeback will be like, on what Sea Clown's comeback will be like, because we have been releasing quite a quite a bunch of, well, not photos, but at least hints. <laughs> so、um, it's. It's not really a secret anymore because our comeback is kind of—it's going to be really strong and very crazy. Not as crazy as Justice, but I guess more sexy. Yeah, that's the word I want to put it: sexy. Okay, so、uh, next question is from my sub story. Did any of the Sea Clown members cheer for you or give you any advice before you came to the studio?、Um, cheer for me? No, 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 no. They don't cheer. My friends, they do not cheer. They laugh. <laughs> no, I was only kidding. They actually are a huge support to what I do, and the reason why you know、I'm, I was ever in Sick Clown is because of these guys. So yeah, they are always a huge support to me. And、uh, any advice? Advice they gave me is don't eat chili stuff before you do radio. Because there was this time when I we went to eat chili. Like we didn't deliberately go eat chili stuff, but. We just ended up eating chili stuff, and that day we had radio. But all of a sudden, I was talking perfectly fine, and then my tongue went just completely numb, and I started talking like this, and that was really hard for me, and it was embarrassing. And they had to edit that whole bit out, so I'm not gonna tell you which radio program that was for you guys to go search that up, because <laughs> it was quite embarrassing. And yeah, so that's the only advice they gave me. So next question: What's your favorite holiday place and food, and why? And this is from Lynx. Okay, well I've been to a lot of places, and、uh, I loved Singapore, I loved Hong Kong, and I love Japan. I love Korea because you know I live in Korea and I am Korean. But I guess one of my favorite places, if I had to choose, would be Australia.、Um, I know it's not a holiday place, but it kind of feels like a holiday place for me now. Because I live in Korea and I haven't been to Australia for quite some time now, so every time I go there, I'm sure it's home, but it doesn't feel like I'm going home. It feels like I'm visiting Australia, if you know what I mean. And I've always loved going to the Rocks、uh, in Darling Harbour and just eating at the Rocks. I don't know which. I don't. You know, I don't really mind any restaurant, but Philip's Steakhouse was one of my favorites.、Uh, you know, where you get to choose your steak and eat it. But that, yeah, seriously, that Philip's Steakhouse was just one of my most favorite places. Still is. And、uh, let's go to our Facebook SBS Pop Ages Facebook. Okay, so let's read this out. And、um, it goes. So I'm listening to Rome Sea Clown on SBS Pop Asia. I super love Got Seven. That's good. Okay, that's good. But I would marry Rome any day. Oh, would you? Well, I would marry you too. You know I would. <laughs> And this person was.、Uh, Bund. dot ong. Thank you, thank you for that proposal. You know, I will always keep this open for you guys. <laughs> Great. So,、uh, okay, let's read out two more questions. This is from、um, Tomzy. I like that name, Tomzy. It's got it's got some weird twist to it, Tomzy. Hello, Tomzy boy. 
<laughs> Who is your ultimate role model? It's a very hard question because role model can just literally look up to and you just want to be like. But for me, I guess role model is kind of a hard word. But I guess inspiration is a bigger word for me. So my biggest inspiration was when I was in year six, uh, primary school. And it probably have to be uh, Daft Punk. Because when I was in year six, the first CD, the first music I've ever listened to or ever heard was actually Daft Punk, which was given to me by my dad. Uh, it was the first present I've ever got from him. And it was, um, yeah, it was a Daft Punk CD, Homework. And literally that day on, I just fell in love with music completely. Like it changed my world. So I guess due to that, uh, I guess it's a reason why I'm here, honestly. Through that inspiration, I've literally conjured up so many, uh, so many love and passion for music. And I still do remember to that day how I would never leave that room. You know, because back then we didn't have like iPhones or, you know, little portable MP3 players. We had Walkman. Everyone know what a Walkman is? They have CDs. You have to put the CD player inside your pocket. And it literally looks like you have a huge, huge watermelon in your pocket. And you'd walk with that every every day to school. Um, and every like 10 meters, if you walk wrong, I guess if you trip or something, it would skip a beat. Literally, it would be like... Boom, 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 and you would be like, oh no, that was my favorite part. So yeah, if everyone... My age, or back in those days, if you knew what a Walkman was, you can relate. But yeah, I went off track a bit, sorry. Um, and lucky last question. Okay, what are your dorm habits? Do you like to wear shirts at home? And this was by Cherry Tomato. Well guys, dorm habits. Shu, the guy that got chased by the uh, ostrich, he likes to drink fizzy drinks when he's in the shower. I know I've said this quite a lot, but I cannot enforce this enough to you guys because it's so weird <laughs> and he, and then he tells us about it I'm like why do you want to tell us about that experience he's like because I don't want to keep this to myself I'm like oh great so you have to tell me that you drink fizzy drinks inside the shower and, I was, and he's like yes I'm like nice nice thank you for that random habit you just had to tell me <laughs> so that's the only dorm habits we see clown have Guys, if that's not strange to you, please tell me what's strange to you. If you have any weird habits, it doesn't necessarily have to be in a dorm. It could be anywhere. You know where to hit me. On tweet at Rome underscore C Clown or at SBS Pop Asia or post on the Pop Asia Facebook page and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You're listening to the K-Wave with Rome from C Clown on SBS Pop Asia. The K Wave with Rome from C Clown. Tweet me at Rome underscore C Clown at SBS Pop Asia or post on the Pop Asia Facebook page and keep the free Pop Asia app open after the show for the biggest Asian pop hits non stop. Still to come on the K Wave, guys, hear it from the man himself. Yes, the guy who got chased by the ostrich at the zoo. Hear it from Shu. I'll be having him on my radio show very soon. You do not want to miss that out. You're listening to SBS Pop Asia with Rome from C Clown. Down-